First of all, I want to ask you if you have ideas for the next videos from the Animals Battle series, please write them in the comments. In today's video, we will find out who would win a fight between a chimpanzee and a gorilla. Although they inhabit some of the same areas, there have not been many observations of the two species interacting. On the rare occasions that they come within sight of each other, they seem to avoid coming too close. Chimpanzees are very familiar to us humans, perhaps because so much of their behavior reminds us of ourselves. They are considered great apes, just like gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos. Their distinctive mode of travel, walking on the sole of each foot and the knuckles of their hands, have earned them the title of knuckle walkers. Gorillas are peaceful, family-oriented, plant-eating animals that live in complex social groups. They are the largest of all primates. Although they are able to stand upright, gorillas prefer to walk using their hands as well as their legs. Like all great apes, gorillas require rainforests to make their living, and the forest depends upon them too. Size and Description Chimpanzees vary considerably in size and appearance, but chimpanzees stand approximately 3 to 5.5 feet, 1 to 1.7 meters tall, when they stand, and weigh about 70 to 130 pounds, 32 to 60 kilograms. Males tend to be larger and more robust than females. Chimpanzees are covered by a coat of brown or black hair, but their faces are bare except for a short white beard. Skin color is generally white, except for the face, hands, and feet, which are black. The faces of younger animals may be pinkish or whitish. Among older males and females, the forehead often becomes bald and the back becomes gray. Gorillas are quite large, and adult males can measure nearly 6 feet tall, 1.8 meters. Their arm span is an impressive 7 to 8 feet across, 2.1 to 2.4 meters. Males weigh between 300 and 430 pounds, 136 to 195 kilograms while females weigh between 150 and 250 pounds, 68 to 113 kilograms. They have thick black fur across their bodies, save for their faces, the palms of their hands, and the bottoms of their feet. The subspecies that live in mountainous regions have even thicker fur than their counterparts. The western gorilla is a massive primate species, with a short muzzle, proportionately large hands, and the projecting brow ridge. They lack tails, having small ears and eyes, large nostrils, and jet black skin. They have quite a large thumb and nails on all digits. They have large muscles on their jaws, as well as strong, broad teeth. Older male gorillas are called silverbacks due to the hair on their back and rump, which is originally grey, loosing with age. Range and Habitat The chimpanzee lives throughout various regions of eastern and central Africa. Each subspecies has a different range. The western subspecies ranges from southern Senegal to western Ghana. Unsurprisingly, the Nigeria Cameroon subspecies inhabits portions of Nigeria and Cameroon. The central subspecies lives from southern Cameroon to the western tip of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Finally, the eastern subspecies primarily lives in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Central African Republic. These primates live in a variety of different ecosystems. The different subspecies prefer different habitat types. Some inhabit tropical rainforests or scrub forests. Others live in savannas, grasslands, woodlands, or chaparral. Many also live in mountainous regions, up to 9,000 feet elevation. 
The different species and subspecies of gorillas have different ranges. The western gorilla lives in the forests of western Africa and is more widespread than the eastern gorilla. Western gorillas live primarily in Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Congo, and Cameroon. Eastern gorillas live in a small range in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Some species or subspecies live in dense forests, others in swamps. Many species live in mountainous regions, and some even live up to 13,000 feet above sea level. Some of their preferred habitats are bamboo forests, lowland swamps, mountain forests, lowland forests, and more. Though they live in forests and can climb well, gorillas spend much of their time on the ground. Diet Chimpanzees eat a wide variety of food. Observers have recorded about 80 different items wild chimps eat, including seeds, fruit, leaves, bark, honey, flowers, and insects. This makes up most of their diet. However, chimpanzees also hunt other animals, like monkeys or small antelope, for meat. Feeding is usually an individual activity, but sometimes chimps look for food together. Gorillas are primarily herbivores, which means that they eat plants. The vast majority of their diet contains leaves, shoots, stems, and other plant parts. They do eat fruit, but it does not make up a large portion of their diet. The exact plants eaten vary by season, species, and region. Outside plants, gorillas also occasionally eat ants, termites, and some other insects. The plants they eat contain lots of moisture, so they rarely drink water. Behavior Chimpanzees are very sociable animals, active during daylight hours and spending their time feeding, grooming, and playing with the members of their group. The size of a group can range from 15 to 120, depending on the habitats and how much food is available. They are very territorial, with no tolerance for outsiders, and can even kill an individual from another group. At night, chimpanzees make nests in trees by bending branches to construct a safe platform where they can sleep, building a new nest each day. Although a lot of time is spent sleeping and eating up in the trees, usually they travel on the ground along a network of paths, balancing on their knuckles. These primates are highly social animals, gathering in groups of 5 to 15 individuals. A group usually consists of females with their young and one dominant male. They get around by walking on their four limbs. Western gorillas are active by day. They construct day and night nests where they rest and sleep. Their nests are soft cushions built on the ground or in trees out of branches and leaves. Lightweight gorillas tend to hang out of tree branches using their arms. Normally, these animals are quite peaceful, friendly, and shy. However, they emit loud growling sounds and can be extremely dangerous when threatened or attacked. In order to scare away intruders or demonstrate their strength, male gorillas stand straight, beating their chests with their fists. Now let's see who will win a fight between these two great apes. Neither species is smart enough to use weapons, though chimps do use tools and even make tools. Gorillas, although bigger and much stronger, they aren't lunatics. They don't actively hunt any other animals or really kill for the most part. Most of their day consists of eating leaves and stalks and sleeping. Gorilla males will fight for dominance, but it will usually end with one of them leaving the group rather than trying to kill each other. Gorillas aren't known for their aggression like chimpanzees are, but they are far larger, stronger, and possess bigger and better teeth. While the strength of a gorilla isn't fully known, 
It's far more than enough to kill a chimp. Chimpanzees are muscular bundles of raging testosterone, and when they attack, they not only are five times the strength of an adult human, but they will also bite with a fierce set of canines that can exert 20 times more force when biting than a human jaw can. A chimp could perhaps cause some harm to a gorilla, as they very well could due to possessing their own strength and having a strong bite of their own, but it's improbable for a chimp to kill a gorilla. The gorilla is ultimately bigger and far more powerful. In my opinion, a chimpanzee can't successfully fight a gorilla. A gorilla is generally much calmer, but will kill a chimpanzee with a single punch. Instead, chimpanzees are much more aggressive. In Congo and Uganda, some groups overlap in smaller scales. When gorillas appear in chimpanzee grazing areas, chimps scatter away. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.